this conference is very timely uh, because it takes place at a time when the Chinese authorities are engaged in a process of deep reform of their intellectual property law, including amendments, amendments to the criminal code. And so we hope that uh, the timing of this conference will allow us to further our cooperation with, uh, with them in, on legal matters. The purpose of my presentation was actually to show how uh, the international legal framework relating to, um, to illicit trade could be used as effective legal tools um, by the law enforcement community. Uh, there is a perception, unfortunately, that important international instruments such as the UN Convention Against Corruption or Against Organized Crime are not really the business of the police. But this is a wrong perception. It is true that the police um, does not officially transmit requests for legal assistance to other jurisdictions, but still they have a very key role uh, in order to prepare these requests and giving content to them. So it's very important that the police becomes increasingly familiar and knowledgeable with the functioning of the international legal framework, because ultimately this would result in an international, transnational case being handled and managed more effectively. The legal assistance pillar of the program has been mandated to provide assistance to governments in order to help them implement the legal framework relating to, to illicit trade. This is done um, through a number of activities, including by assisting states in legislative drafting to ensure that their legislation is fully consistent with the international legal framework and also by organizing training and capacity building events, not only for, for police officers, but also for prosecutors, for judges, for all those that are involved in the criminal justice process, so that they can uh, better handle the international mechanisms at the international level based on, uh, on these conventions.